Bani Israel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed as a sign to them that this is the mithaq, this is the agreement, these are my commands. Take them and follow them. And Bani Israel accepted that. So that's the mithaq. And the incident was, At-Tur is the Mount Tur. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised the Mount of Tur above the heads of the Bani Israel at that time when Musa was there. So the mountains were above their head as a sign or as a do it? Both probably. <laughs> that was only 70 Sahaba. So I wonder. No, no Sahaba. We are talking about. 70 companions. We don't know how many people were there at that time. 70 were, were taken to the, the mountain above to receive the Torah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if those 70 incident is this or this was a larger gathering. So that may have been two different incidents. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Atur means the mount of Tur. Okay? Mount, is not it the Mount Sinai? You know, Sinai is peninsula, Sinai is the desert. And in the desert is the Mount Tur. Sinai is the, is the peninsula, which is the desert area. And at that time, and in, in that desert, there's a mountain, which is called Mount of Tur. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised that mountain above their heads. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them, Khuzu ma ataynakum. These are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which he spoke to them. So let's look at these words. So again we just saw the word Akhada means take or hold. To take or to hold. Hudu is a command. If you are talking to one person and you want to say that person khuzu means take it, hold it, okay? That's for one person. If I put a vow and alif at the end, khuzu is for plural of that. So if you are saying to many people, take, you are giving something and saying take, you will say khuzu, okay? And these are the root letters. So this means hold or take, okay? So we just translate as hold. Khuzu, one word, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to the Bani Israel, hold, okay? Hold what? Ma'atayna. So let's look at those words. Ma means that which. Ma means that which okay and this word alif ta and ya ata ata means to come three letters alif ta and ya ata amrullah is ayat Allah's Amr came. But these are three letters, and three letters belong to Babi Fala. But if we put an Aleph in the beginning, it becomes a Af Allah, and this will become Aleph, Ta, and Ya, like this. This is also written as two Alephs, Ta and Ya. <coughs> If you put in an extra alif, it becomes two alif here. This was one alif was already there. If I put one more alif, it becomes two alifs. In two alifs are also written this way, one hamza and one alif. This word has four letters. The meaning of it is to give. Meaning is to give. That's not on his weight. So that means to come and to give 
totally different words, totally different meanings. In, in Urdu, we write Ata from Toy. Well, that's a different thing. Ayan and Toy, not toy. Alif. Ayan, Toy, and Alif. That means to offer something. Okay. This is Ata. So it should be pronounced as, this should be pronounced as Ata. This should be pronounced Ata because there are two Alifs or one Hamza and one Alif. So this sound will be A. So like a mud sound. A, A, Tya, or Ya. Okay? Now, again, if you remember the rule again, if I put Na at the end, it will become We did. So the meaning will be We gave. A, Taina means We gave. A, Taina, Kum, We gave you. Khuzu, hold on. Ma, what Ataina kum we gave you. And what is Allah is giving? Mithaq, the covenant, the agreement. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to Bani Israel by after the mountain has been lifted. Khuzu, take and hold on to this. Ma Ataina kum, that which Atainakum, we have given you. Okay? And what is Allah has given to them? This Misa. This agreement, this promise, this ahad, this oath Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them. Commandments. Okay? All these things. So that's what is here. Atainakum is exactly like if you put a na after that, this will be Atainakum means you all. So, what that which we gave you. We gave you. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using one more word after that. Be quwwatin. Quwwat means strength. Okay? Quwwat. Yes, so the root letters are Ta, Vau and Ya, and the word Kuvatun is the actual word. Kuvatun. Kuvatun means strength. Okay? Kuvatun means strength. Something which is very strong by nature. Okay? Now, if we put a vow with there in the beginning, B, B means with. Okay? And B is a harfajar. What harfajar does? It looks at the next word, is has two dhammas, it changes into two kasras. So the word becomes biku watin with the strength means firmly, strongly. Hold tight to this misak firmly, very strongly. Don't let it go. Don't break it. Okay? So that's the meaning of biku watin with firmness, with the strength. Okay? Or firmly is another word in English. So hold on to this Nisa firmly. Okay. Don't break it. That's what it means. Don't violate the conditions and the rules and the agreement or the commands that I'm giving you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that to Bani Israel. Don't let it go. Okay. And then after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Vadkuru so the word is from dal, kaf, and ra. This means to remember. Zakara means to remember. The zikr of Allah is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So Raka Ram is to remember. Okay? And the command from this is Udhu Kur. Uzkur. Uzkur means remember. If I are telling to one person to remember something, you say Uzkur. Is it a command? This is a command. Okay. The rule is that in the table, if I put a alif in the beginning, it becomes command. If al do here Uzkur remember for one person. And how do we make the plural? We add a vowel and an alif, okay, and pronounce it Uzukuru. Just like we just saw that, Khuzu, um, Khuz or Khuzu, okay. So by adding vowel, Faala, Faalu. Faala means one person he did, and Faalu is a plural of that. So by adding a vowel, you make the plural with an alif which is not pronounced. So, Uzukuru means you all remember, means don't forget what my commands are to you. Hold tight, hold firmly, and do not forget, which means remember. Okay? And Va before that is and. So, when you pronounce, you do not pronounce this alif, you combine Va with Dal. Okay? Was Kuru and remember. So this alif becomes Hamzatul Vasa, there is a small swat sign on that, which means do not pronounce the alif. The word is was Kuru and remember. So that the, the last letter of Wow makes it plural? Wow and Alif is yeah. not pronounced. Yes. So that's Mr. Plural. Yeah, if you remember the rule, Fa'ala, right. he did. Okay. Fa'alu. Okay, got it. They did. Okay. So it makes plural. Okay. So. Uzukur for was one person, Uzukuru was for plural. Okay. Similarly, Fa'alna, we did. So, Fa'ala, we did. No, well, that's very different. Uh, yeah. So, when we add Na, at the end. That is Af'al. Okay. This is only for the past tense. And for third person. Okay. Third person past tense. So, Vazkuru and remember and remember Ma means whatever or that which. And Fi and He he means in, he means in, and who means it. Okay? Fi means in, and who means it. When you read these together, this who is pronounced as he. Just for the reason of Tajweed, so it becomes fi he. Fi he means in it. In it, what means in the Misak. Remember what is in the Misak. Remember what is in this agreement that you and me are signing up today. Okay? So, Mafihi, remember what is in it. Okay? Then there are two more words after that. La Allah. La Allah means maybe, perhaps. Maybe kum means you. Okay, if you hold it tight and you remember, then there is 
possibility that perhaps you la alla kum means perhaps you okay Tattakun means you will attain taqwa. Tattakun is from taqwa, righteousness, fear. There are many meanings of taqwa. Tattakun is from taqwa. You may become muttaqi. You may attain taqwa. You may become righteous people. Okay? If you took my mithaq and you took it and firmly held to it and if you remembered it and you acted upon it that maybe you will be successful you will become righteous people you will become muttaqi okay so this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them to bani israel when this mithaq was being signed by between allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bani israel okay so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding this many many thousand years later through the tongue of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to the jews of medina that this is what we did in the past you miss your forefathers <coughs> your generations many many thousand years ago the generations before bani israel who are listening to these ayats in the quran in medina by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding the bani israel of medina the jews of medina that in the past you and me agreed upon something this is that ayat okay then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them in the next ayat so la allah kum tattaqun you become righteous Righteousness, you may become muttaqi, you become, you may attain taqwa.